Now that we know the basics of how to set up a REDCap project, let's look at how to use surveys in REDCap. Surveys allow you to email forms to specific people or create a link that anyone can click on to take the survey. First, enable surveys under Main Project Settings on the Project Setup page. Then, go into the Online Designer to choose which forms to enable as a survey. Forms within a project may be a mix of regular and survey forms. Enabling a form as a survey will take you into Survey Settings. The first option within Survey Settings is whether the survey should be active or not. Next, give the survey a title. This title is what participants will see when they take the survey. By default, the survey's title is the same as the form, but if you want to use something different, change it in this section. You may also create instructions that will appear after the title at the top of the survey. These instructions can include piping, which pulls in information from data entered in other fields, such as participant name. For more information about piping, watch Supplementary Video B, Advanced Online Designer Features. Make sure to click Save Changes after modifying survey settings. Let's move on to distributing the survey to participants. Start by going to the Survey Distribution Tools link under Data Collection. This section is where you'll do most of the setup for managing participants. The public survey URL can be used by anyone. When using this link, every participant's response will create a new record in the project. For this reason, the public survey link will connect to the first form in the project, which must be a survey. You can also link the survey with the survey access code, which gives a simplified URL and an access code that the participant can use to access the survey. Survey access codes are easier when gathering responses on a mobile device. While REDCap does have an option to insert a QR code, we recommend that you do not, as it may require participants to download a special app. Open the public survey with the Open Public Survey link to see what the survey looks like and to test it out. On the left-hand side of the screen next to the text, you can see that the text-to-speech feature is enabled and that this survey is similar to a standard data entry form. The big difference is that no one on the survey page can access the rest of the project. For example, if you're collecting information from someone in a clinic setting and you want them to fill in their information, it makes more sense to give them a survey to complete instead of a data entry form. From the survey, all they could answer is what they see. If you pull up the data entry form, they'll have the same access to the project as you do. The second main tab of the Survey Distribution Tools section is the Participant List, which creates a unique link for each participant in the project. Because each person has a unique link, REDCap will know that this person is the same person against multiple surveys and keeps them in one record. It will show you if a specific participant has responded, partially responded, or if an invitation has been sent to them. It also allows you to open up each participant's specific link and survey access code. If you have not enabled the Participant Identifier option, this is an anonymous way of collecting information by allowing you to see who has responded but not match a specific response to a specific record. If you enable the participant identifier, you can go directly to the responses of those who answer after the option is enabled. To add someone to the participant list, click the Add Participants button at the top and type in their email address and, if you're using the identifier, their unique identifier after a comma. To send invitations to people on the participant list, click Compose Survey Invitations next to the Add Participants button and choose whether the email should be sent immediately or at a specific time in the future. You can also set up survey reminders so that if participants haven't responded by a certain time, they get an email. First, 
choose how often to send it. Every Monday or Tuesday, every other day, or at a specific date and time. Then, decide how many reminders to send. Finally, create the email, which can include HTML and piping. If you want to see what the email will look like, you can preview it on the Preview tab and send a test email to yourself. Select which participants you want to email by selecting categories of participants in the Actions menu, such as participants who haven't been emailed before, or individual names, then clicking Send Invitations at the bottom. To see previously sent or future survey emails, view the third tab, Survey Invitation Log. This log shows all future and past invitations and provides a filter to display invitation reminders. If you do not initially have participants' email addresses, but want to send the multiple surveys linked to the same record, you can collect their email addresses through the first survey. To enable this, go to the Project Setup page. Under Enable Optional Modules and Customizations, select Designate an email field for sending survey invitations. Then choose any field in the project that has been validated as an email address. Whenever a participant fills out that email field, it will automatically be linked with their record and can be used to send further survey invitations. The final tutorial will cover how to create reports in REDCap, export data from REDCap, and go over what statistics REDCap collects.